first day of school for many public schools in central Arkansas as parents are split on the inclusion of a certain supply, masks. With many schools mandating the face coverings, today was the first indicator of what the school year could look like. Katrin Asaf spoke with parents who dropped off their kids today on what they think of the mask mandate after day one. Katrin, it seems parents have two different viewpoints. Yeah, Donna, that's right. On the one hand, some parents are just happy their kids can go back to learning in person, while others say they wish the decision to mask up would have been left to the families themselves. Earlier this morning here at Pulaski Heights Middle School, two protesters actually greeted parents as they dropped their kids off, holding signs asking that kids do without the masks. But with only one day of class under our belts, this debate is far from over. One week since Maumelle Charter School kicked off class and the pickup line is in full swing. But one new addition is drawing attention. If we would have known ahead of time, we would have probably made other arrangements for our, our child. Casey Burks is the parent of a five-year-old attending the elementary school. She started kindergarten this year, so the whole school thing's brand new to us. Burks' daughter will begin her education wearing one of these. A last-minute decision Burks says should have been left up to him. She was already in school for a full, a full week before they actually announced the mask mandate. As students return to class, the debate over masks is as hot as ever, with parents taking a new interest at the end of day one. Burks isn't alone. Two protesters at Pulaski Heights Middle greeted parents dropping off kids. I think it's the parents' choice. But others are just happy school is back in session. It's good to know that he can still continue his education, considering everything that's been going on with the pandemic. Lori Chumley and son Sean just wrapped up their first day. It went really well. For the first grader, the addition of masks has become an old habit. Last year he was in kindergarten during the pandemic, and he still went in person and had to wear a mask then. A habit parents like Burks is hoping to break. Also, if you have a kid in school, you don't get very now, those who don't wear masks could face disciplinary action. For example, those at Little Rock schools like this one have a certain number of violations for the mask mandate before they could face suspension or being transferred to solely virtual learning. As for Burks, he says if his daughter still has to wear a mask come January, he's going to consider pulling her out of the school altogether. Reporting at Pulaski Heights Middle School, I'm Katrin Asaf. Donna. All right, Katrin, thank you.